Hey guys, how's it going? Ghosty Rich here. So, we're going to be putting in a deck in this Dodge Ram 1500 2012. And we're also going to be putting in a sub box. But today, we'll mainly be just focused on disassembling the dash, putting inside the uh, new stereo, and then the subwoofer. And we'll actually show how to put in the amplifier as well. Uh, as for the sub box, I'm still waiting on that to arrive. So... The gear that we've got here is a JL JX1000. We got two Hertz HX300s. And then we have an Alpine app radio. We have uh, a CHY4 for the harness. And of course, we've also got our wiring kit, our mounting dash kit, and an antenna adapter. So, if you want, stay tuned for the next section where I'll be disassembling the dash. Hey guys, how's it going? Ghosty Rich here. So, first thing you're going to do for disassembling this dash is you'll notice that there will be a long piece of plastic across here. If you have a thing like this panel popper, you're going to want to flick it up and then underneath it, you're going to have a couple Torx screws. Uh, you're going to pull that out and then you're going to take your panel popper or your flat blade really gently. You want to be careful with flat blades. It's always better for plastic on plastic because if you put metal on plastic, it's gonna it has a chance of creasing it. So, just take it and then you pop it. Once that pops out, this will be all the way back. You're gonna work your fingers around and then where it gets really fun is right here. If you have your panel popper again, pop right there and pop right there. Once you do, this just pops out like so. And then you have access to everything in there, which is what you want. Just use a 7 mil, pop out all four of these screws, and the whole head unit comes out. This one's a super simple one. All right. Now, if you have the one with the cup holder, uh, it's not as simple. Uh, as you can see here, this is Metra on how you have to do it. It's going to have some instructions here. Um, the best way to get a hold of these is by looking or going to Metra, typing in, or going if you go to MetraOnline.com, I believe it is, or just type Metra. Uh, car audio into Google and it's going to take you to their website once you go to their website you put in your your make and model after you do so you can actually download the manual and then just scroll down to where it says Dodge Ram 1500 uh, 2009 and up uh, 2500 2009 and up so you can see here it's just showing you some figures on what you're gonna have to do to get past that cup holder there is another page if I can get past it here it's a lot more troublesome as you can see it's to finally get at it you still have to pull the screws out on the top like I showed you but you before you get to that point it's gonna tell you how to pop the cup holder forwards removing two uh, Phillips screws from under the cup holder compartment and there's some more screws and you have to remove of course the shifter knob and stuff like I said this is an easy one, I guess I lucked out. So, just do that, and once you get to this point, stay tuned for the next section, I'll show you how to wire it up. Hey guys, how's it going? So, I got all the wiring done, I'm just gonna take a look here with you and show you what I've done. So, as you can see here, we have a connector, which is the one for the Dodge. It's the one that has slightly beveled corners, if you take a look. There's that one, and there was another plug that came with it. I don't have it at arm's reach right now, but and it's more of a square plug. This one is the one that's more of beveled edges. And the wiring's pretty easy, as you can see here. I'm going to have an amp, so I had to go off a remote wire, which is the blue-white wire. And I also wired in a PAC TR7 because I'm doing a parking brake bypass, so that way my friend's daughter can watch movies while he's driving because uh, it's kind of a crazy commute and if your kid doesn't have anything to watch except for the traffic next to him, yeah, who knows, it might get bored. So anyway, pack TR7. If you are using that, then you don't have to worry about doing a parking brake. If you do have to do a parking brake, the cool thing is with this module, um, there is a parking brake wire which comes in the secondary bundle, which is over here. If you look, there will be one that with all the speaker wires on it, which speaker wiring is really easy. Green, black to green, black, green to green, green, you know, it's super easy. Um, just follow the color codes for that. And then over here, 
you will see three wires. I believe, which I will quickly read, yes, red white right here is the parking brake wire. So if you have a green parking brake wire off your Pioneer, it will go to that if you do not have a parking brake bypass. Um, the purple white wire will be your vehicle speed sensor. So if you have a vehicle speed sensor on your radio, hook that up. It'll give you vehicle speed sensor. And then the green one is, of course, reverse cam. What this allows you to do, or reverse wire, if you're hooking up a backup camera, if you hook this up, it will, of course, give you the reverse signal to tell your backup camera to turn on. So you'll hook that up to the back of the deck. Um, red goes to red, black goes to black, yellow goes to yellow. tr 7 is really easy here if you take a look. White wire goes to parking brake. Uh, green wire goes to uh, the blue white wire, which is the remote. The red wire will go to red and the black will go to black. Now, if you have a Alpine radio, I can't tell you the colors off the top of my head. I know there's a yellow black wire and a yellow blue. I believe the yellow blue is the parking brake wire. Uh, but you'll want to double check with that. But yeah, anyways, the blue wire on here, uh, if I had it pulled through for an Alpine unit, would it go to the foot pedal. So you'd have to still run a wire from here to the brake pedal. And, or well, actually you wouldn't. If you had a TR7, you would just hook the foot or the foot brake up to the blue wire and then it would bypass the foot brake as well. All right, thanks again for watching. Hey guys, how's it going? So we're just about to put the dash, or not the dash, but the whole freaking stereo in. These holes aren't big enough. <laughs> so best way to say it is you're going to have to cut the, a bottom piece off of this metal that will be behind down here. What you're going to have to do is loosen the two 10 mils right there, or sorry, they're going to be 8 mils, and then you're going to have to cut through there. You can either use a Dremel cutting blade, hacksaw, grinder whatever the hell you can fit in there and then after you trim those if you can just bend these tabs in a little bit and then cut right here the only reason why I'm saying that is because you're gonna need a squeeze point to squeeze this radio in and you're gonna have to put quite a bit of pressure on it to get it in there all right and like I said it's pretty tight you can always uh, shave this shave this with a um, file but like I said it's gonna need some working once you get it there Squeeze it in once you and make sure all your connections are in. Test it before you put it on. Biggest thing ever. Okay? Alright, sweet. Anyways, stay tuned and I'll show you the last video portion with it actually in. And I'll give you last tips. Peace. Hey guys, how's it going? Remember how I told you it was gonna be tough? It was tough. I uh, went through two head units. One was defective out of the box, and the second one gave me the white screen of death. So now we finally got one that works. So if you're wondering if I like the Pioneer app radio, uh, yeah, if you're just a guy who's gonna be adding a subwoofer, it's perfect. But if you're gonna be doing a full out media system, this is not the deck for you. It's totally not. There's better decks coming out and you can go for like, I say the 8400 series, but there's much newer ones. There's like the 8500. I think the new one that's coming out is the 4000 series actually. And that's coming out in, this Ju in July, I believe. It's gonna be sexy. You gotta be sure to check it out. It's networking and everything. Anyways. So I thought I'd just kind of show you why this deck's kind of neat. Of course, it's got Bluetooth, which we ran our Bluetooth mic up here. We've got our navigation right there, which you can't really see because it's dark out right now. Um, but check this out. We're going to click apps. Yeah, yeah, I know I don't have the Pioneer app. You can add this afterwards. But see how it says that? Yeah, that's because that's our phone. I'm going to just slide this, slide to unlock what's Ta-da! And if you look at that, we got Alien Amp Farm. So, that's just the music. Now you're like, well, why is that so cool? Check this. We're gonna go back to the home screen. And we're gonna go to Utility Apps. See how it's actually going through this? Oh, I clicked on Telus. You don't want that. You don't wanna see that. You wanna see this. So, say you've got your GPS going. Even though it's a very bright screen. Let's turn this sideways. Well, bam. Yeah, that's not actually, it's just because uh, it's electronic noise, but it actually looks pretty clean. Like that, not like that in real life. So, yeah, I mean, you can do this, plus you can download apps, plus you can put mixed tracks on here, which is your own little personal DJ. It's kind of cool unless you listen to lots of different genres, because all of a sudden it'll switch from dubstep to, 
I don't know, Kylie Monroe to something else, like, or death metal. Yeah, it'll try and mix death metal because it goes by beats per second. I think the coolest mix I ever heard from it was it switched from uh, a Dead Mouse song and then switched over to Break You by Lamb of God. So that was a pretty epic switch. Anyways, that's what this deck looks like. That's what your stereo will look like when it's all done. As you can see, I only ran this stuff to here because this cup holder never closes, but you can still wrap this up and close it. If you want to, to make sure that you don't get in trouble with a police officer, because police officers, if even if you have your phone in a cup holder, sometimes they'll still give you a ticket. Running it to here, from behind the stereo is super easy. As long as you got long arms or a long zap strap, all you do is you shoot it over here and this glove box, you just pull the sides in like so. See how I'm doing so? And you do that on the other side and you can drop that glove box to reach farther in there. Super easy. Anyways, thought I'd give you guys a show. Hope it uh, kind of shows you a bit about the app radio plus shows you the ending of the segment for doing a dash install and radio install on your Dodge this is a 2012, by the way. So, thanks again for watching. Like the video if it helped you out. Subscribe if uh, you want to see some more stuff. I'm going to be doing the subwoofer in here. We're doing a double 12 hertz subwoofer box in the back. So, um, that will be posted at a later date. If I already have it posted, it will be right here. All right? Thanks again for watching, and have a great one. Peace.